So welcome back to another tutorial on Clo3D and in this tutorial we will be looking at how to export animation from Clo3D to Blender. This is another method I will be showing you now because somebody requested me to create a tutorial in using um, MDD catch instead of point catch. So here yeah, we have point catch and MDD catch here and this one is the um, this first one is the point catch. This is the PC2 you can see right here and this is the mdd cache so i'll be showing you how i exported this um animation on um blender so let's go back to clo 3d so here is the design that i use in this um animation this is the um Udi and this is the joggers here and first of all what you do again is to make sure this pattern are fully fully arranged in the uv editor then the next thing you do is to go to the animation section here so the animation i used here is one i converted or i i have a lot of um, animation file that i converted from examo to clo 3d so if you need a tutorial just click on the link above to know how to convert um, um animation from examo to clo 3d so i have a lot here where is my motion so this is it here and you can also purchase the pack that i'm selling for five dollar is in the description box so i did a lot here so i picked one of them I, and i animated this um design as you can see here so this is just a short quick animation this is the working animation so this is it here so the next thing we'll do is to move to the um sorry about the charging error the next thing we'll do is to move to the part of exporting the um animation so going back to frame one so this is it here click on file click on export this is the this is a uh, sorry this is the mbd catch standard you are using and this is point catch too if you need tutorial on how to use export sorry on how to export point catch from pro 3d to blender you can also click on the link above we'll click on this mbd cache here do i have, already have my file down created so this is the point card this is the testing mbd so i've tried it and this is the file here so let's say i want to create another mdd file so i'm going to create another let's say test 2 i won't save this i just want to show you the process of how you save this so save so just make sure it's tick you've tick your unified uv coordinate png your diffuse map make sure that is in 8k so you just write 8000 just write 8000 then you just give it the 76 um 7680 pixels make sure and here this is the mistake some of us might make might make sorry so make sure it's in meter not in a millimeter or else you find it hard to find your um animation or the design itself the mesh so make sure it's a meter i'm only using one color so i untick this save color untick this save color and leave it as save with absolute texture image file part and that's all and press ok to save it but then i already have my file down so let's go back to blender and see the process of using mdd cache so let's go i'm going to my blender so this is what i said so i'm creating a new file to explain everything from scratch so let's click ctrl n general no don't save so this is our new page so the next thing we'll do is to import import make sure you are picking wavefront obj legacy not this wavefront obj because there's something you have to tick there wavefront obj legacy keep that in mind that's the first thing we'll do so I'm going to my drive attic this is my ngd then this is the testing obj yes go to geometry go geometry here so it is only the obj legacy that has this skip vat order if you tr use the other the first one i showed you it doesn't have these um features there so just select skip vat order so when you select keep vat order it will avoid you seeing error when you want to add your uh, mdd cache to the um to the design or to the animation so let's wait for it to load so here is our um design and with our animation but then the animation is not yet on the um design yet so what we'll do now is to go to reselect this back so when you select this go to the modifiers go to hard modifier go to this mesh cache here So this is the MDD and this is PC here, but then we are using MDD here. So the next thing for us to do is to select the MDD file. And I want to show you something. So keep close here. This is what is going to happen. 
when I add the MDD now. So look at this logo here. This logo on this um shirt, they will switch sides. But let me let me activate it so you can see for yourself. So um wait to my secret attic MDD. So this is the MDD file here. So select the MDD file and accept. So let's wait for it to load. It takes time for it to load. Yeah, you can see the post. And also you notice that it has turned its back. So I, I hope you get what I'm trying to say. But this doesn't happen when you use PC cache. PC cache, nothing changes the position you get. It doesn't change. So the next thing you do, let's rotate it back to see the front. As you can see again, the logo. See the logo here. So this is where you have to keep details. And see the logo. It's like opposite side. So what you need to do is select this and press S X minus one s x minus one that scale on x axis minus one as you can see it's back so that's what you just need to do s x minus one so that's all well i won't be able to play this animation because it might be slow but i will show you that the animation is already activated so 50 sorry sorry 50 let us move i want you to move so it might take a while so on the back yes Sorry about this charging info. So, so that's just how to export MDD cache from um, Clo3D to Blender. But you might want to ask if there is any difference between them because I have to check if there's any difference in their file size. Well, let's check it ourselves. But then there's no difference in their file size. So, this is MDD cache here, and this is 807 MB as you can see right here. And let's go back to point cache. This is point cache here. Sorry, this is the cache here, P PC2. It's on the So there's no difference. So it just depends on which um, format you want to use to export your animation from Clo 3D to Blender. So, and also in quality, they, are, they have the same, exactly the same quality. Anyway, this is if rendered. So that's why it's not showing most of the information you get. So this is it in um, cycles. And here we have, um, we have the point cache. So this is the point cache here, and this is the um mdd here so thank you for watching this tutorial on how to export mdd cache from clo 3d to blender so i'm available for any job offer you can always send me an email if you want me to help you with any clo design animation so thank you and see you next time